In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a nice edge pressure that you can utilize in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what I believe to be one of the better blitzes in Madden NFL 21. Now, if you're just joining my community and you don't know much about me, uh, again, my channel is designed to help you get better. And so one of the best ways I do that is through my Discord. So if you haven't already, be sure to join my Discord. It's the best way to stay up to date with all of my latest, greatest tips and tactics and schemes. You can stay up to date on that by joining that Discord. That link is in the description of this video. The play we're going over today is Nickel 55 and it's Loop Crash 2. All you're going to do is you're going to press coverage. Then you're going to crash your defensive line to the right. You're going to then manually move this corner in right about here and QB contain rush so that he is on that wide contain. And then from there, you want to take this guy on the backside and put him on a quarterback spy. And what you'll see here is that the snap of the ball, you're going to get either some B-gap pressure or some edge pressure. It kind of changes depending on how the line picks it up. And actually, sometimes you will get um, some A-gap pressure from your defensive tackle here. So that's why, again, I like to contain him. I think the contain helps a little bit with the, with the blitz angles. One other thing you can do is manually blitz this guy um, over the center and then just bring him down right about here and at the snap of the ball you'll just pop out and that's where you see you get that little quick instant shed a gap pressure at the quarterback so again this is a blitz I like to mix in now one of the things I do want to one little caveat I do want to say is blitzes this year you do want to mix them in you don't want to just run a blitz all game you do want to mix them in but as you can see you're getting some nice pressure from this pretty much regardless of the way that you're going to run this set so you know, one of the better blitzes so far from Madden 20 launch, I'm sorry, Madden 21 launch is this one right here. Again, you're just moving him in and putting him on that contain. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, we should get that pressure. Tried a little bit different with the, there's the edge pressure. So, loop crash to a very simple blitz. One of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you set your zone drops to about 15 yards back. It's going to help make that coverage a little bit better than it is stock. And, you know, just kind of help a little bit with the overall uh, play right there. There we got picked up a little bit because we, I think we forgot to crash the line to the left. But all in all, pretty simple pressure to get started here in Madden 21. Hopefully this video helped you. Again, I've got more tips and tricks coming soon. We post four times a day on YouTube. So if you want to subscribe, that would be very helpful to me. And also, um, we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So if you want to catch one of my streams, there's going to be a link in the description to tonight's stream that you can catch if it's 10 o'clock or so and you're catching this or you want to come back at 10 o'clock. That's where we'll be streaming. So hope to see you guys there. There's going to be some videos that pop up on your screen right now that are going to give you some more tips on Madden 21. And also make sure to join that Discord if you haven't already. It really is a great community great place to be and if you really want to take your defense to the next level pick up my madden 21 competitive bundle guide which is in the description of this video we'll see you guys at 10 o'clock tonight